Are you currently doing loads of research on the top course platforms because you're ready to launch your course or coaching program this year? Well, today I'm gonna dish the seven things that you need to know this year before you buy Kajabi. This is updated with the good and the bad so you can make the best decision for your business and feel really confident wherever you decide to build out that course. You're not gonna wanna miss a single one of these, so let's dive in. Well, what's up, Sandy? Your guide to authentic video. If you want to give Kajabi a try, I have an extended 60 day trial for you linked below. Depending on when you book it, it'll be 60 or 30 days. And if you use that link, I'm also going to include for free my course, Zero to 10K Course Blueprint. That's going to help you successfully start, set up, and launch your first course and hit those 10K months. The first thing that you need to know before buying Kajabi this year is that Kajabi has gone all in on AI. And now it is easier than ever to build out a course on Kajabi. And I truly believe it's easier than ever compared to any other course platform because of their AI tool. Now their AI tool is called AIMA. It's supposed to be like a plan words for ask me anything. And AIMA helps you to do pretty much anything you'd want it to help you do in building out a course. You can actually, I'm gonna show you this here, have it outline your entire course of what it thinks all the modules and everything should be just by writing the title and description. It can write you sales emails. It can write you marketing copy. It can help you create funnels. It's literally crazy. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features right now. Let me show you inside of my Kajabi how to use AIMA. This is the absolute coolest way that's gonna save you weeks worth of time in building your course. You've got to check this out. Okay. So here is how to use AIMA. You can click it and you can ask it loads of different questions, like write you an email sequence or create sales copy, whatever you want it to do or ask questions or advice, like any AI software, you can use it right here. But the coolest thing that I want to show you is let's create a new product. Okay. I'm going to create a course and click get started. Now, by putting in a good title and a brief description, you can allow their AI to make a full course outline for you and fill in loads of information and then you just tweak it. It's so cool. Okay, so you're gonna put in a title and then put in a good description or a brief description of what your course is all about. So you can see here, I wrote out a brief description describing how to train your puppy 101. And then you wanna make sure you click this and have this on, use this info to generate content and additional resources, okay? Then I'm going to hit continue. And by doing this, I'll hit continue again if you wanna add things for your course appearance. I am just going to skip the payment stuff for now. and. It will then create an outline for you. It will create a landing page for you and it will create an email broadcast for you. This is so cool. Like I said, if this doesn't sell you on Kajabi in itself, like I have used this recently to build out another course and it made it so much easier. And it gives you great ideas of things you maybe wouldn't have thought about for your course. And of course you can add in things of how you want it to be or you don't even have to use this, but it makes it I believe just so much easier. So give it a second and I'll show you what it comes up with. All right, so you can see here, I haven't done any of this. This was all their AIMA software that created all of the different sections of this course. So section one, we've got potty training, we've got walking politely, basic tricks, biting. And if you go and click into these and I could add video lessons to them, I could add other content. But even if we click on this like scheduling potty breaks, you can see it even has text in here that goes over some of the main points. That's wild, right? Okay, so that's what the overview of the course looks like. And of course you can tweak it and then it will create for you a an email broadcast for your course. And you can see here it has the subject and then it's got the email talking about what is inside of it. And then it also has a landing page for you that it creates where you can see it says master puppy training, join our free trial, and it's got loads of different selling points of it. Again, you can edit all of this, but it makes it so easy for you to set up your course and the emails and the landing pages already. So if you go into your Kajabi, and I were to go into website pages, and then I hit landing pages, you can see here that it automatically just created that page for me here. Oh, and then I can tweak it, make it my own. So really awesome, highly recommend using this. So cool. Like I said, you can hit this button here and you can ask Ama other AI questions as well so we can replace your AI software if that's something you're paying for as well. The next thing you need to know about Kajabi before you buy this year, it's all on pricing. We know pricing is like one of the main things we're looking at when we're buying 
course, platform softwares. So Kajabi has stayed the same price. It's still $149 a month, or it's a little cheaper if you go and buy it yearly, which is what I do. But I will say Kajabi has continued to add updates and add features like their AI software, where I think it just becomes more and more of a better value. Now, if you look at the price of Kajabi and you're like, it seems way too expensive, is it worth it? I will say I actually use Teachable for a year. So if you've looked into Teachable at all, you know it can be quite a bit cheaper, especially on their beginner plan. That's what I originally did. And then as my business grew, I outgrew Teachable. It didn't have all the things that I wanted it to. I was using Teachable and ConvertKit and that money together combined was way more than Kajabi. And so it took me like three months to move my business fully over to Kajabi and now it saves me money actually. So if you're thinking about pricing, I still could think Kajabi, even though it seems expensive, is gonna save you money in the long run because it is your course software, or coaching software, email marketing software. It can replace Zoom. It can host your website, opt-in pages. It has all of the things. So I really believe that is worth the price. And like I said, right now, they're actually offering an extended 60-day trial if you sign up with my specific link. So could be worth it to give it a go and at least see if you like it or use my free course that I include, Zero to 10K Course Blueprint, to allow you to successfully set up your course within that 60 or 30 days. And then it's ready to go and launch and be making you that money back that you're paying for the monthly fee right off the bat. The next thing you need to know about Kajabi before you buy is all about sales tax. Dun, dun, dun. These are all the types of things I hate about running a business. Sales tax, taxes, all that. I'm like, hire somebody to figure it out for me. But anyway, I started off in Teachable and something I really liked about Teachable is that they automatically collected sales tax for you depending on like where your different client states they were coming from. And Kajabi doesn't do that. But Kajabi has now added a feature. It's in the works, so it's not out yet, but it should be out very soon where they are gonna be able to collect sales tax for you. So if that's something you're worried about, honestly, when it comes to sales tax and courses, especially with coaching, you may you may not need to be collecting it. So I would definitely make sure that you talk with an accountant or a tax attorney or whatever it may be to make sure you're doing everything by the book on your business. But anyway, Kajabi is going to be offering that really soon. And that's something that I would really wanted. And I'm so glad they've been listening to their customers and they're adding that in. So that's gonna be something you're going to be able to do quite soon. The fourth thing you need to know about Kajabi before you buy is a bit of a con, but I had to include some negatives cause I really like Kajabi, but this is all about the community feature. Honestly, I just, I don't like it that much. Eat. Okay, they've done so much work on their community feature and it's gotten to be so much better. I find it a little bit confusing. I'll show you, this is what it looks like and you can see like, your community is able to do a lot of things in it. You're able to host calls. I don't know. It's definitely less confusing than Facebook groups, but there's something I just don't love about the setup of it. And that's just a personal preference. So you could give it a look in that free trial and decide if you like it. But if your goal is to just like build out a community, I might consider doing something like Mighty Networks. I feel like Kajabi is like top of the game when it comes to courses and when it comes to coaching, but community tab, I don't, I don't know. That's just me again. You may love it. I just, I don't like it but it's still better than Facebook groups. So I'm gonna move my Facebook group over the Kajabi community tab. I'm still gonna use it. I'm just saying like, I'm gonna provide my community with a tutorial of how to use it so that it's a little less confusing. The next thing you need to know about Kajabi before you buy it this year is all about video streaming. Say goodbye to Zoom because you can now host all of your calls in Kajabi. And this is my favorite part. After you have a call, let's say with a group of clients or one-on-one -on -one client within Kajabi, it will automatically upload that call for your clients to then watch the replay. I don't know about you, but I have spent hours of my life waiting for my Zoom call to save and then waiting for it to then upload to Kajabi to be able to send out to my community to be able to watch. So from now on in the future, hosting all of my calls within Kajabi. I also think it makes it a lot easier. Not only does it replace Zoom, but then it makes it easier for your clients to just log into their Kajabi portal, get in the call, and then start into your course or program right away because they're already logged in. So it's really making it a lot easier for them to just have everything in one. So highly recommend if you go with Kajabi to do all of your coaching calls within Kajabi. So nice. And so many platforms do not offer that. So I love that about Kajabi. The sixth thing you need to know about Kajabi before buying it has to do with email marketing. Kajabi email marketing is 
amazing. I love it. I get asked a lot like, is it robust enough for all of my email marketing? As a six figure business owner, I can say it is. Unless you are doing the most intricate sales email funnels, then maybe you might need a more robust email marketing software. But I really think Kajabi is everything you need. It has templates. You can now with a new update, resend emails to people who haven't opened an email. You can create landing pages for your opt-ins. You can create funnels. You can even use AIMA now, their AI, to help write emails for you and send them out. So Kajabi email marketing is great. You can customize it a lot. I highly recommend it. And like I said, I was paying for Teachable and ConvertKit and Kajabi's email marketing definitely replaced ConvertKit. And if you ever use ConvertKit, like 10 out of 10 do not recommend. I think it's the worst. Like why is it so expensive too? If I was gonna pay for an email software, I'd probably use Flowdesk, but with Kajabi, I'm like, there's no point. But Flowdesk is also really beautiful. But anyway, I love Kajabi's email marketing, 10 out of 10, it's worth it. The next thing you need to know about Kajabi before you buy it this year is all about payments. Kajabi now offers something called Afterpay, and that is a buy now, pay later software that allows you to get paid in full upfront. Your customers can split their purchases up into four payments over six weeks or even longer term monthly payments. But like I said, you get paid upfront, which is awesome. The really cool thing about Afterpay, Afterpay does have a bit of a higher fee. Normally a credit card fee would be like 2.9%. I believe Afterpay is 6%, which is a bit more. But if you have clients that want to go on a payment program, I think Afterpay is gonna allow you to get paid so much easier. Like I've had clients who have done my own payment program where they can split up payments into monthly installments. And you can do that in Kajabi, but it's so sad. I've had at least three people like dip out on payments on me and there's not much you can do if their credit card won't go through you could like legally do something to get the payment but it's just not worth all of the headache of trying to get those payments in so sometimes I will have clients that their cards get denied and they just ghost me and I never get the rest of their payments for the program. So something like Afterpay, you're gonna have a company that's going to make sure that you get those payments no matter what because you're getting paid up front. So I think in the future, I might just try and do Afterpay for my payment plan and then just really try and get most of my clients to pay in full anyway. But that's totally up to you, but something really cool. Within Kajabi, people can pay through Google Pay, Apple Pay, PayPal, just regular credit card or debit cards using Stripe. And also Kajabi now offers something called Kajabi Payments, where people can use credit card and debit cards, and there's only a 2.5 nine percent fee and that 2.9 percent fee is going to be what you find everywhere teachable thinkific anywhere you go there's always going to be a charge for using credit card kajabi taking it that's like between you and the credit card company i don't know but anyway really fair pricing on that and with kajabi payments now though before if i really wanted to go deep into my analytics of payments, I'd have to log into Stripe separately. Now with Kajabi payments, everything's gonna be just in one place. So I'd highly recommend doing that if you are new to Kajabi, just doing it all through Kajabi payments. All in all, at the end of the day, I still believe Kajabi is at the top when it comes to a course platform. They have made so many new updates lately where it's really so seamless to build courses. And I do believe that Kajabi has the most beautiful courses too to go through. I've done courses in Thinkific and Teachable, and I just love the layout of a Kajabi course. It's super easy for people to go through and it's so easy to also build your course within Kajabi, especially now with their AI tools and all of their templates. Let me tell you, Kajabi is such an awesome option if you're ready to build out your course. Don't forget that there is a 60 day trial that you can use. If you click on that link and it only says a 30 day trial, it's because then unfortunately the 60 day trial, they only allow us to give it for a certain amount of time. So if you've missed out on that, no, you can still get an extended 30 day trial as opposed to their normal 14 day trial. And you can get access to my zero to 10k course blueprint if you use that link. If you have any questions about Kajabi or just courses in general, definitely send them in the comments below or feel free to shoot me an email. Have an awesome day and happy course building. Bye.